ends on the hill when the spot where they say is too far. They ban air traffic up where we are. I smoke till I can't breathe any more turps in. I hang 10 on the clouds while I'm surfing. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley, and this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my nighttime blunts. You know, we about to do Bird Club. We about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Tonight's theory, we're going to be talking about Cyclops. Ladies and gentlemen, skeptics and stoners, I'm here to unravel the real reason Cyclops exists. Forget all those dusty science tech books and ancient myth scrolls, because the truth is as green as it gets. Cannabis didn't just fuel ancient relaxation, it fueled evolution giving rise to a whole new species. Yes, the Cyclops, those legendary one-eyed giants, were actually the result of too much weed, and I'm here to prove it. So take a deep breath of fresh air, obviously, and prepare for a journey through the hazy history of ancient humanity. Picture this, ancient humans huddled in circles around a fire, munching on roots, berries, and the ancient equivalent of potato chips, all while toking on cannabis sativa. This was no ordinary greenery. It was a ritual plant, a medicinal cure-all, and an after-hours relaxation tool, all rolled into one. For these early humans, cannabis wasn't just a pastime. It was a lifestyle. And boy, did they smoke a lot of it, like enough to make Snoop Dogg proud. Little did they know that puffing away at this divine herb would kick off one of evolution's most unusual experiments. One eye instead of two. A single minus perspective in every sense. In a statue that could give even the biggest wrestler a run for his money. And as more cannabis rolled through their generations, the features of the Cyclops begin to emerge. One joint, or should I say, one eye at a time. Here's a riddle for you. I roam the land, tall and grand, but no depth can I see. With one round orb, I fix my gaze. What creature could I be? Evolution is a slow journey. But when you throw cannabis into the mix, things get interesting fast. Usually, evolution is a two-eyed affair, one for depth, the other for balance. But for ancient stoners, that path was thrown off balance by generations of THC saturation. So instead of growing two eyes, these descendants started developing just one, smack dab in the middle of their foreheads. Talk about a one track these early cyclops may have been the original singular sensation after all with a single eye they saw the world differently than everyone else i mean that literally with one big eye on a prize the next snack naturally they lived as focused one-eyed nomads inspiring legends wherever they went here's another riddle for you with just one eye to view the sky i see less than all can see yet in my gaze lies fear and haze what kind of beast is me? Now, if the one-eyed thing wasn't wild enough, let's talk about the size. See, ancient cannabis wasn't the humble little plant we know today. Back then, it was like the red wood of THC, packed with so much potency, it could probably bench press a chariot. And as our Cyclopean friends consumed it, it sparked growth, a lot of it. Over time, the Cyclops grew bigger, broader, and brawnier, towering over the, their non smoky eyed peers imagine the munchies for these guys they need a small farm just for breakfast with enough goat kept kebabs to clear out the nearest pasture villagers were no match for their appetites and it wasn't long before rumors spread of one-eyed giants devouring fields livestock and even the occasional stray traveler it's no wonder the cyclops had a reputation for being a little scary when you're 15 feet tall with one giant eye looking a little intimidating comes naturally riddle time i was born with one eye to spy on the land towering high with the club in my hand i see with one glance no seconds required name my monster stand feared and admired with only one eye cyclops developed a unique set of survival skills sure they lacked the depth perception of their two-eyed neighbors but what if they missed in vision they made up for in smell hearing and sheer focus their eyesight became as sharp as an ancient spear tip and they had a nose like a bloodhound especially when it came to sniffing out their favorite plant yes cyclops could pick up 
the scent of a good cannabis grove for miles away. A skill that undoubtedly came in handy during those late nights smoke-induced munchie marathons. The Cyclops' whole world revolved around their next high, their next meal, and maybe crushing a few enemies here and there. And the best part, they were blissfully unaware of their own strangeness. When you see everything from a one-eyes perspective, you don't know you're unique. You just think everyone else is seeing things wrong. Here's another riddle for you. People say I'm big and mean, but I'm just misunderstood. I have one eye, but I'm not shy. I garve my cave and wood. Who am I? And thus, we have the legend of the Cyclops. Born from a cannabis feud evolutionary experiment. Tales spread from traveler to traveler of caves and mountains where one-eyed giants guarded their lairs with the ferocity and obsession unmatched by any other creature. The ancient world, already ripe for myth-making, had a field day with these tales, weaving the stories of Cyclops into one of humanity's strangest, most enduring myths. Though the Cyclops has faded from history, probably from a bad case of the munchies that wiped out their food supply, their legend lives on. Perhaps every time we take a puff or ponder a legend, we're honoring those one-eyed ancestors who blazed the trail, quite literally, through ancient history. So next time you're in a hazy mood, think of that old Cyclops with his singular view of the world. Because whether you've got two eyes, one eye, or just an open mind, it's all about how you look at things in the end. The answers to the riddles. Cyclop, 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 and Cyclop. I'll see y'all next time, bruh.